During the past three decades, there have been many researches in done in order to analyze whether our capital markets are efficient. And interestingly, the results of all of these studies have real world practical implications for both the investors and the portfolio managers. Now, why efficient capital market is important to consider? It is important to consider because of two reasons. The first is that uh, because it is necessary to consider the efficiency of capital markets in terms of what how security prices react to the infusion of the new information into the market and the second reason is that the overall evidence on the capital market efficiency can be best described as the mixed which means that uh, some of the studies support the hypothesis and some of the studies do not now what is an efficient capital market there is a certain criteria that is a large number of profit maximizing participants are there the security prices being reflective of all publicly available information include risk attached to any particular security three investors buying at the informationally efficient prices get returns inconsistent with the attached risk of a particular security so in terms of capm we can say that all of the securities lie on the sml in a efficient capital market this means that price charges price changes are to be random and independent in the efficient capital market now why a capital market needs to be efficient uh, profit maximizing participants analyze and value securities independently of each of themselves then new information regarding securities come to the market in the random order or the random fashion the buy and sell decisions of all of the profit maximizing participants cause security prices to uh, rapidly adjust to the newly released market information then the expected return implicit in the current prices of the securities is linked with the attached riskiness of the particular security so what is efficient market hypothesis in fact early work on the efficient capital market was based on the random work phenomena which says that changes in stock prices occur randomly but in 1970 it was the pharma who first organized the efficient market theory in terms of a fair game model and he devised the efficient market theory particularly he says that uh, a securities current market prices being reflective of all publicly available information can yield a return inconsistent with the attached riskiness of the particular security pharma divides the efficient market hypothesis into three sub hypotheses namely weak form efficient market hypothesis semi strong form efficient market hypothesis and strong form efficient market hypothesis it is important to note that these three sub hypotheses are based on the alternative sets of information means that each of these three efficient market hypotheses has different effect on the security prices of different sets of information now let talk about these efficient market hypotheses the first is the weak form efficient market hypothesis this phenomena says that prices reflect all security market information means that current security prices fully reflect the market information including the historical sequence of the data related to the security prices in the past rates of return trading volume data and other market information this phenomenon assume that there is no relationship between past return and historical data with the future returns but it is assumed that 
one can gain a little abnormal return using the trading rules which indicate that buying and selling of a security which is based on the past return and the other security market data so in weak form efficient market hypothesis we can assume the existence of the chances to earn abnormal profit using the market data which is available in the securities market semi strong efficient market hypothesis this is that prices reflect all public information which means that security prices in addition to the information under weak form efficient market hypothesis also reflect other information regarding the uh, non market factors like uh, earnings and dividend announcements price earning ratio dividend payouts stock splits economic and other political news uh, this phenomena says that any newly released public information cannot be used in order to earn any abnormal profit considering the uh, the cost of the transaction because the market quickly respond to the newly released public information so here the chances to earn uh, abnormal profits are much lesser than the chances to earn abnormal profit under weak form efficient market hypothesis and the last efficient market hypothesis is the strong form market efficient hypothesis which says that security prices fully reflect all public and private information this means that uh, this efficient market hypothesis covers both the weak form efficient market hypothesis and the strong form market efficient hypothesis it assumes that capital markets are fully efficient which means that the prices adjust rapidly to the newly released information in the market it assured market to be a perfect capital market in which all the information is cost free and it is available to every person at all the time this means that under strong form market efficient uh, market efficient uh, phenomena there are no chances for any monopolistic group to earn any abnormal profit